Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra, the civil engineering simulator where things have got a bit weird because mushrooms are growing out of people's faces. What? <laughs> yeah, go watch the rest of the playlist if you haven't watched this one. It's pretty damn good. But first, a massive thank you to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring today's video. We've teamed up to bring my own custom line of PCs that I actually helped to create. Now I won't lie, these pre-builds do cost more than building your own PC but it takes all the hassle out of it and you know it's been set up properly. The reason I've always chosen pre builts myself. So if you're thinking of joining the PC Master Race, consider checking out my line at the link below. And if you use code ENGINEER, you'll get a 5% discount. Thanks Apex for supporting the channel, but let's get back to some destruction. Ah yes, so the end of last episode, we, we played a slot machine and we won the jackpot, which means we can escape this town thing. It's sort of hard to explain until we get there. The drawbridge was down and we jumped through that window onto here. Uh, we literally walked in and then got distracted by the fruit machine. But we will go explore the rest of the building. So what is in here? Is that a fruit bowl full of gobstoppers? Oh, another coin. This is the currency in this weird place that we're in. We're in like sort of a, I don't know, sort of like a cultish city. Aha, a key for the office. Uh, there's also a balcony out here. I don't know if I can climb over there. I could potentially walk along that pipe. Doesn't look the safest thing, but perhaps if I go out that window, I can get into there if that's locked. I don't think I can jump down there. There doesn't seem to be an edge. But is this the office? No, that is just a locked door. Is this the office? No. All right, what is through here? Briefing room. Oh, what is this? The turnip hill experiment. So open sewer coins. They're the currency in this system. And yes, its own economic system. But it has a low purchasing power outside of open sewer. So I think, yeah, open sewer is where we are. But they've called it the turnip hill experiment. Uh, that is probably a photo. Yep. Yeah. All right. So there's the office with the big man in charge. <laughs> the teddy bears like rule this place. It's like Conker's Bad Fur Day. I mean, what if you were to give this game to, say, yeah. 20 yes. intelligent people? I mean, what would that do? So if we head up here, I assume I can just unlock this now. Yes, we can. So we'll grab those coins. And we'll read this document in the dark. Oh, so it says here the homeless people are being transferred to open sewer. So the government have sort of made their own sort of area that the poor people live in. Yeah. And then given them their own coins and economy to spend that can't be used elsewhere. Oh god, that's a bit dodgy. Okay, that is a photo for sure. Right, and then as we know, we can't get into that door. I think that's where we go out the window then. If we head out here, whilst minding the shards of glass on the table, we don't want that in the kneecap. Uh, this isn't actually the dodgiest thing I've done on my site visit here. Right, now we're in. We can grab this. This is the purple card, which means we can open doors finally. No, it's basically this is written by like one of the leaders of this area. They're a bit concerned about the number of crazy people that are slowly arriving in here and something about they've been like encouraged to take mushrooms to look after their health and stuff. That's probably a photo actually. Yeah, gotta take the photos. And the final thing was him saying that they're leaving because the town is flooding. As we saw in last episode, the dam burst, which meant the place is flooding. Uh, and that's why the nuclear reactor is melting down. And that's where we're trying to get to. But now we have the old... Whoop. Card, we can check out these rooms. Ooh, ooh. So that's an elevator. I wonder where it goes. Oh, is it an elevator? Do I need to shut the door? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, we're going down. That wall is very close. <laughs> right, so let's go left and see what's along here, I guess. Oh, I think we're just we're just back outside. Okay. Rye bale. Glorious food. Oh, look at this. You can put turnips in. And do you get money or do you pay for turnips? I just paid three. Will I get a turnip? No, I didn't get it. <laughs> Oi, give me your turnips. All right, this seems to be the entrance or the exit, however you look at it. I can see it. There's a car running down there. Are they in traffic? Is that a few cars? Food waste only. What is in here? Well, I I'm in here now. <laughs> this is where I live now. All right, what is down this alleyway? Moonshine Master 9001. That is probably a photo. Yes, it is. That should not be there. What the hell are they? Just bits of straw. How random. Creve's funeral home. So it's locked, but there is a speaker thing. Right, so they just told me they're closed, but I asked, is there a way out? And they said there is, through the funeral home. But first I have to help. And they said, I've got to move bio waste from that restaurant we're at. So it's pronounced Ribale Grill. 
No, I think I need to put it in that food waste only bin. God, what is that? Oh, I think someone's broken into this place. <laughs> There's like screwdrivers in those and then a hammer in the, in the button. Oh, it is, it is still locked. All right, it looks like someone's just living in the hallway. What is through? <laughs> Actually, is that a hole for a brick? I swear. Okay, at the start of this episode, I saw a brick somewhere. I'm going to have to go find it. The question is, where the hell was I when I saw the brick? Was it over here? No, I sort of saw it and I was like, I remembered an earlier episode where I had to smash a window. Oh, there it is. There it is. But yeah, that is the thing with this game. I feel like almost every item is there. Like, it has a purpose. So this probably won't do anything, but let's try. I did it. And he said something. I think he said that's one of the weirdest things I've done today. <laughs> well, I fixed it. So we'll close it up and be on our way. I guess that was so random. All right, I tell you what, since I'm scared of missing it, I'm going to head back up in the lift. Because now we have the money, I want to make sure I buy that passport and see if I can get through the gate that I couldn't earlier. Was this here before? Rob fixed my doorbell? Robinson? I don't remember seeing that. Oh, the doorbell works. Oh, he has a gift for me. All right, he just poked that through the door. He said I got to find a bit of pipe. Oh, is that what we saw in the moonshine place? Secret. Oh, it literally is. Right, wish I saw that earlier, but uh, it is what it is. Right, we'll go, <laughs> we'll go all the way back where we just came from. Right, ten minutes later, we're back. Oh wait, what one did he need? Oh, I can literally pick any of these. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was it that one or was it that one? I feel like it was probably that one. Right, anyway, let's head back again and see if that was right. All right, let's have a look. Did I pick the right one? I think I did. I think I actually did. Okay, I just put it through the letterbox, and he said he's gonna send me the gift when. When it's ready or something. <laughs> so yeah, that was probably pointless. I did get an achievement though, so there's always that. Anyway, I want to head to that machine where I have to pay coins. Pretty sure it was down here. The Stuhlberg Underground. Yeah, that's where we wanted to go. Yeah, this was the machine. So you can see it costs 99 open sewer coins to buy a ticket. And you need a passport, which I now have as well. So if we put the passport in, are we allowed to buy a ticket now? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Passport is valid. Okay, so we're allowed to buy a ticket. We need to... Oh, really? You have to put them in one by one? <laughs> All right, come on then. Press the button. Whew. All right, we're there. Let's buy a ticket. Oh, there's my ticket. <gasps> now the gates are open. All right, let's see what's down here. Is that a train? How random. There's a train. Reactor tunnel keep out. Oh, my character just said this is going the wrong way. I can't get to the power plant from here. But I am intrigued. Can I... Can I, like, ride this? There's there's a passenger waiting already. On button. Oh, it's on. All right, let's go forward. We are off. Oh, what the hell? Loading screen. What just happened? It's dark. I hear noises. I don't know what's happened. Oh, I'm standing up. Wait a second. Welcome to Open Sewer. I thought I came from Open Sewer. Authorized personnel only. Well, that sounds like me. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie. All right, well, up or down? We'll go down first. Holy God. Crap, the size of this cave. What is this? Is that the bunker? Things you are not expecting to find in open sewer or Stolberg underground. A blast door. It needs a code. Did I have any codes? I'm not sure if I remember any. There was like a 427 or something. Or if I just put a random one in, like 69, 6. Oh, I got sprayed. I got the code wrong and I got sprayed. Okay, where am I going to wake up now? Oh, I just heard I'm interrogation number one, two, three, four or something. Oh god, what? I'm in some sort of interrogation room. <laughs> Did I try and break into a nuclear bunker? I thought I was meant to fix it or something. Wait, what the hell? Am I on a stretcher now? Oh, what is that? I'm definitely going along a corridor on a stretcher or a hospital bed or something. What is that? What is through there? Right, I have no idea what is going on. What what the shit? <laughs> it's two o'clock. That's all I do know. And also, check out my merch store. Look, you can see the Architects Tears mug in the background there. Just one of many items available for my merch store. It's a new merch store, by the way, if you haven't seen the channel in quite a few months. Brand new. RealCivilEngineer.store. Right, I don't know what is going on. I'm being carried somewhere. Am I dead? I just got an achievement called Underground Justice. What? That's the end of the game. Shut up. <laughs> I died.
Well, yeah, thankfully, I do literally have a save before I went through that train station. I assume you can't get back if you do that. So, yeah, that's where I went through. I'll, I'll leave my ticket there in case anyone else wants to go get killed. Uh, I'm going to head back this way. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot more game to happen. Well, never mind. I did remember as well. Someone said in the comments, if I put this blue duck... I knew there was something up with this duck. But they told me to come into here and put it in this barrel. Idiots. I knew they were winding me up. I knew they were winding me up. <laughs> Damn you, commenters. Oh, I just heard a quack. I just got a quack achievement. <gasps> coins! Look at all these coins. And the duck's gone. <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 22, 23, 24, 25. <gasps> We can read Turnip Hill's history. So if you want to read the history, just pause the screen now and read. But uh, interesting, we'll take a photo of that. All right, and I think I've sort of done everything back here now. I've just got to head back up all these stairs and deal with that bio waste. I mean, thankfully I've done this so many times in this video, I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what the frig? It's got a face on it. It's got a face on it. <laughs> Oh, and it's a funeral home. Oh, do they do that? Do they throw heads away? Anyway, I assume we've got to put that in this bin. And then close it up, I guess. Then we'll head back to the funeral home and we'll see what they have to say. All right, she's opened the door for us. She said she's got to stay upstairs because she wasn't careful enough when she was dealing with the contaminated bodies. I assume they're probably like mushroom people bodies, are they? But Ooh, Maltesers. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a tunnel entrance. Turnip Hill Cemetery. Entrance 10 open sewer coins. Do I have 10 left? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, we're in. Okay, we're good. This is kind of creepy. There's candles all the way down. We got a loading screen. All right, we're finally out. And we've just been told that place was nuts. Yes, I definitely agree with you, mate. That was freaking a weird, weird, unexpected part of the game. That was so random and confusing. Anyway, oh, look at these. Gabion basket. So they're basically, they're like a crate, like a metal cube filled with big stones. And generally you use them to like create a retaining wall. Usually if there's like, like water, like running water, like they're pretty good in a river because they don't erode very easily. Uh, but here it looks like they're just used just randomly to support that wall. But that's quite interesting. I've never seen a lighting column attached to one though. That is a bit weird all right looks like someone's been having a rave down here but uh we're out what the hell is this this is like a it's like a bridge under a bridge oh th i feel like this deserves a bridge review i'm not gonna lie never seen a suspended bridge like that under a concrete bridge uh, very intrigued not sure how easy down here would be to like maintain the stuff but oh god did those cables just come off I was about to give it a 7, but I might give it a 3, because some of these cables have just snapped. I'm moving back. A bridge review! Right, we got a spanner here. Oh god. Oh god, I just undid that. Why would I want to do this? I can sabotage the bridge. <laughs> what am I doing? I've become an architect. Wait, I can't reach that one, but I can undo all of these. I'm not sure why anyone would do this to a bridge. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Oh god, oh god, run, run, oh! <laughs> that was close. Uh, but the bridge has now collapsed. The bridge is now a ramp. Uh, which means we're now down here. So we've got these stairs. Actually, was that a photo? No, that's not a photo. Completely normal for a bridge to do that, apparently. Oh, there's a car here. And another green lantern. Oh, this side is a photo, because this side is actually broken. That side, completely fine. Oh, why, why is there a ladder down there? That usually means secret. Right, I've got to head back. Oh, I died. All right, so if there's a ladder down here, where did it come from? What am I trying to find under here? Oh, God, I'm well I'm well deep inside bush now. Oh, there's a wall. There's got to be something, right? We'll never know, but I did notice over this way. There's a load of glue sticks. Can I get over there? Oh, no, perhaps it's up that way. Okay, hang on, hang on. Yeah, so under this bit of the bridge, past the car... Oh god, what the hell? Ah, I'm dying! What even is that? Is it like loads of mushrooms? What the actual shit is going on? <laughs> well look, more Gabion baskets. I mean, I should probably inspect these. I'm sure having ivy on them probably isn't a good thing. But is all the mesh okay? It's not rusting or anything? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> oh, 
I'll carry on. All right, so here we go. There you go. Safety bar. Absolutely mullered. That is a photo. Thank you, Kane. And then we're following the rave. So lots of different colored glow sticks. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, God, we got a crane. We got another bridge. <laughs> bridge review. That's actually pretty cool. That's a really long, like, suspension bridge. Proper, like, old school rope and wood one. Yeah, that's that's all I've got on this. <laughs> bridge review. Right, I don't really know what's going on with it. Do I get in this? Do I really want to get in this? Is that what I've become? All right, I'm in it. Oh, there's a handle up there as well. Oh, God, really? Is this what I'm doing now? <laughs> I'm sorry, but in the last episode, I was told there was a helicopter going to take everyone. Oh, oh God, the handle came off. Uh, oh, I dropped the handle. Okay, we're never getting back. But um, I was told it would be quicker if I drove there. Well, I'm not driving there. I'm bloody in a... Whatever this is. <laughs> was this always part of the plan? Surely there's a more direct route. Like, I've just been in some underground city thing. Like, what is going on in this game? Oh, what is that up there? There's a hut with lights on. Got to get over the bridge. All right, we're in a cave. Keep out, monster. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I'm scared. I'm literally scared of this game now. Why is it vibrating? Oh, it's really vibrating. I don't know what's going on. We'll just keep walking. Oh, oh frig me. What is that? He's got wellies for arms. <laughs> Is that Wilson? Reminds me of Castaway. Right, anyway, let's keep going. There's mushrooms up here. Oh, wow. There is really mushrooms up here. That's a photo, if ever I've seen a photo. Okay, I wasn't expecting to find this down here. What is going on? Holy crap, that's quite an impressive fire. For some reason, it's got... Are they water sprinklers on top? I assume I've got to put the fire out so I can go through that. So is that just a case of that? No. <laughs> Flush thrice. Okay, if I thrush one, two, three, nothing happened. All right, the pipe goes outside, and then you can see it goes downstairs. So is there a downstairs to this place? No, I'm not sure there is, but there is an upstairs. Oh my god, someone's sleeping there. I can see his ear. He's moving up and down. I'm in someone's house. Right, and here's his toilet. So do I want to turn that on? All right, I think that's filling up with water. So if I flush that, or do I need to flush thrice to... <laughs> Three. All right, I flushed it three times. Let's go see if that did anything. Oh, look, there's a, there's a note here. Oh, so this is the mushroom grower. Okay, so he is the mushroom grower. Oh, I'm sort of thinking, actually, if the water comes from upstairs, maybe that should be shut. And then if I flush three times, then the water should fill up and then go that way. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think that's what I'm doing. See, I knew my drainage expertise would come in handy at some point in this game. One, two, three. All right, let's go have a look. Yes, we put the fire out. Nice, let's get out of it. So where will this tunnel lead? Oh, to another loading screen. All right, and what is through here? A green lantern and I don't really know where we are. We're in some sort of some sort of housing estate. I don't know, but I think, guys, we're going to leave it there for today. I feel like we made pretty good progress. We're learning what the hell is going on. We're no closer to the nuclear plant. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. The surprise hasn't blown up already. I'm sure the helicopter guys, they said they're only half an hour behind me. I'm sure they're probably there already wondering what the hell I'm doing. But yeah, for now, peace, love, and whatever the hell is going on in this game. I technically finished the game already. Uh, bye! <laughs>